Here's the new Woldridge 26 foot pilot house. This particular boat has twin Evinrude E-Tech 115s. We're on an easy loader aluminum trailer. We got twin torsion axles with disc brakes on both axles. We got the oil bath bearings, LED lights all the way around. Very nice trailer. This particular package weighs 6,300 pounds dry with the motors, everything all together. That's towing weight. So we're towing it with the half ton Chevy pickup that has the smallest V8 they make and we're having no problem. So it's a lightweight package but you can get a lot of boat in a 26 footer. Let's go up and take a closer look here. Great visibility with three large pieces of glass for our front windshield. Three windshield wipers come standard. We also have large chain and rope storage up in the bow with a realistic walk around cuddy that makes it for easy access when walking around the side. Well, here's our heavy duty motor bracket for twins or singles with a spot to mount your kicker on either side. Also a folding ladder available if you want. Uh, there's a large displacement box underneath the engines, whether it's twins or singles. When sitting still in the water or trolling, this adds incredible stability and, and helps offset the weight of the engines as well. We have counter-rotating engines here, which uh, decrease any torque, actually eliminate any torque when getting up on step or coming out of the hole. We have a nice dead rise in the rear, 18 degrees here at the transom. Runs up to 40 degrees in the entry. So we're going to have an incredibly smooth ride in rough or choppy water. Uh, with the seven foot wide bottom, it makes for a very stable package when sitting still or trolling in the water, but also very smooth when on step or in rough water. Well, this is our optional radar box. We've got Garmin Ray Dome up here with satellite receivers and GPS antennas. We also do a, an arch if you'd like that as well. We've got a very strong roof here. Some people store their smaller boats or crab pots on top. As you can see, the walk around is realistic. It makes it easy for getting around the side here, back into the boat. We got large fishing rod trays, which I'll show you here. Both lockable, we got one on each side. This is standard. Now, these run full length, so you don't have to break down your really long rods. They go all the way up into the cabin, so you can stick your long rods in there without breaking them down, which is very handy. Rocket launchers, these are standard as well. We have a large 50 gallon fish box in the rear here, cutting board on top. This one has an optional wash down pump. Lots of room for your fish. This is a standard feature as well. Well, how about you come inside and we'll check out the cabin. Well, now we're inside. First thing we got here is got some coat hangers. Run all the way to the floor. Can hang your wet jackets, towels, whatever you got. Got some counter space here. 12 volt fridge. Got a nice sink. There's a nine gallon water tank below with an electric pump. There's our Wallace kerosene stove. It also doubles as a heater. When you close the lid, sensor comes on, heats up the cabin. Now because it's kerosene, it's a dry heat. Unlike propane or alcohol, that's a damp heat. This will dry out your cabin. If there's moisture on the windows or you have wet clothing, this will dry it out. There's storage underneath in the cabinet as well. This one has the optional suspension seat, which is very handy. There's about four different adjustments on this thing. Four different height adjustments. It goes forward and back. The backrest adjusts and there's a, a stiffener for different size people or different size waves. We've got our dual helm controls here. As you can see, we got a large sliding window on both sides of the cabin with screens. There's six of these windows in this whole cabin. There's two in the cuddy that open with screens, two big ones that you see here in the main cabin. There's one in the head and one in the very back as well. As you can see, that this is a standard fan that we have. This comes standard in all of them. There's room up here for electronics, whether it be your CD players, VHF radios. As you can see, an optional Garmin unit here. The cuddy 
and I'm a little bit over six foot two uh, tall, and uh, I got room. Right now, you can see I'm six two. I can have another adult larger than me laying here. So there's quite a bit of room in this cuddy, which is unusual in this type of boat. There's quite a bit of storage under all the cushions inside of here. Under the floors, on both sides, there's storage. As a passenger, this is where I'd be riding. Two people can sit up here. It's good visibility. But then if it's time to eat, flip this back. Go ahead and take a seat. Four adults can sit in here. Again, I'm 6'2", so I'm not a small guy. So we can fit quite a few, uh, four people in here. There's storage as well down below, underneath. And there's storage underneath the floor as well. This folds down into a bed. So not only can we sleep two adults up in the cuddy and maybe a child, we can also sleep two people here. This goes down flush. This backrest also comes out and makes this bed even longer. Well, I'm going to show you inside the head now. Well, here she is. It's got a 20-gallon holding tank, a macerator, screened window, and there's privacy curtains for all the windows as well. Well, that's what she looks like. Let's go put her in the water and do a performance test, see what she acts like.